Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a pretty fun video. I'm testing out the brand new Insta360 ONE RS. It's got the little case that goes in here and basically just going to be bombing around some different spots and seeing how this thing performs. Um, I'm actually going to be filming fully on this camera today. I usually will use another camera to speak to, but this has got upgraded audio now. It's got three mics built into it, so hopefully this video sounds good. Uh, I'm on the Ebe and um, we're at these six stairs. We're literally just going to put you on the chesty, do a little lap and then I'm going to bomb down different angle. We've got some cool little mounts to use today and it also comes with a 360 lens that you can literally just pull off the camera and put on, swap it between 360 and normal. So currently I'm in the normal lens but we're going to do a lap down here with the 360 and then edit it afterwards in the app and see how it looks. So let's get into it. Okay then, this is probably as clear as it's going to get, so... Oh my god, I haven't bike in ages. Okay then, so there we go, complete the little lap on this run. Let's uh, get back up to the top. I'll keep you on, I'll pedal up the side and then we'll swap to the 360 mount, put you somewhere else. Let's do it. Cool, that's really sick. I actually just snapped my chain, which is really annoying, but I'm gonna push it up anyway. And we're just gonna coast down this time because I do want to get this shot and show you guys what it's like with the 360 because in the app once you've filmed your clip you can actually go in the app watch the clip and you can sort of record what you want to see within the app if that makes sense obviously the 360 points in every direction so once you're done you can just reframe to however you want the clip to look I've got to actually use my body now get up these stairs mate I'm already out of breath I've gone up four flights yeah we're running a bit low on battery but we're gonna go down again there's some people coming shouldn't be an issue let's see what the quality of this thing is like oh it's so weird with no change Okay then, so that was 360 mode on my helmet with this cool little stick poking out the top, but hopefully that already gives you a good idea of how good this camera actually is. Main competitor at the moment is the GoPro Hero 10. You can actually get three lenses for this camera, the 360 one, a standard lens, and then an ultra wide one, which looks pretty sick. Um, we've also got a new core in this updated version so everything just runs a lot smoother which i've noticed already we've got better upgraded flow state stabilization we got 4k on the normal lenses and 5.7 on these 360 ones right let's go back to the car local trails to the next location i've jumped onto the jump bike rather than the e-bike now after snapping that chain i did actually buy a chain on the way home but who can be bothered to fit them not me we're going to do a couple laps down here i'm going to try out some different mounts and positions uh, we've got this little handlebar mount that you can buy and should be pretty sick so let's get into a trail main trail line Okay, so 
That was actually quite a sick run, except my helmet does that. Um, I've not done these bolts up. And just on a jump bike, I just can't trust it at all to not just fling me off and die. It was cool to get that out of the way. Let's head back up there again and do a lap down with the Insta 3 360 lens. I'll cut together a few little angles and we'll see what happens. Let's go. Okay then, so I've just hunted around and found some little like shoot sections. So I'm gonna try one on the jump bike, see what happens. Oh my god! Almost died into that tree. That's cool though. I wanna try and get down that real thin one. Let's go again. Right, let's go down this one then. Oh, nice. That's pure shooty. Right, let's go and find some other stuff. Right, I've actually got one. It's going to be well deadly. We've got to get up here first, though. Let's see if we can do it on a single gear jump bike. Made it. Might be able to fly out. Three over there. Oh no, certainly not. Is that log in the way? Instead, I think there's a dead shoot up there somewhere. That's death. Cool. My god, that was quite cool actually. I enjoyed that. It's quite hard to, for this to stay up on this mount. Right then, so that finishes off the segment here at the Danbury Trails. Um, I'm going to head over to some more jump bike orientated things now. Orientated, oriented, orientated. Anyway, let's go and do some threes. Right, 360 mod on. We're going to try this middle line, see how far I can get through them. Last time I was here though, it was well boggy. But you should see it. Mate, it's annoying because that one's fine. I don't know if I just pedal in between. I'm sure it's all bog. Right, round two. Let's get through these. Too boggy. Well annoying. Well hard to clear. Okay. Well, I did say let's go and do some three. There's a mulch over there. Let's check it out. See if it's boggy for that as well. It's looking drier than it was. That's flipped up though because of where it's dried bad, I think. Me and Bren actually put this wood here. So what I might do do that to weigh it down. Uh, it doesn't really work. Maybe with the carpet on it. I think once you go over that it will be alright. We'll give it a try quick and then through it. Yeah I'd say that's got a three in it. I want to try, let's just do a quick tea bog because I like them and then we'll through it. That was like held down. Time for the three, I think. Well, I'm here, Okay, in with the 
three. It's just going to wait for the wind to drop slightly. It's not even windy. Like, look, I'm just being back. Oh, that was a huge 180. I got scared to commit to the full spin. died right i'm not gonna be one to make some sort of excuse i just can't seem to do it today for some reason but have to do something so i'm gonna one foot can it massive that's gonna be the redemption and then we're done um i'm pretty sure we've sort of covered the whole point of this video anyway which is just testing out this brand new camera it's been sick to use uh, it seems like the footage is looking really good. You guys can let me know below. And yeah, the brand new flow state's working good. The new core's working good. The audio seems actually really sick. Um, well, good quality, uh, big 4K. We've got the nice 5.7 on the 360. So many different bits, and there's so many adaptive features you can add to this thing. So let's get that can done. I actually just quickly thought of something I want to try. Like, if I just throw this in the air. Can I make it see me the whole time? Well, wonder if that was crap. You know, because I don't even know. Right, let's do this can, bloody hell. Here we go. Oh, sketch. Let's do that again. Wow, that was well clipped. That'll do then. Nice. Out. so then that is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to get yourself one of these cameras there's a nice little discount link in the description and yeah i actually genuinely recommend this thing it's a lot better than the last one that's for sure they've made some proper improvements just for the whole functionality and how smooth it is to use there's a bit of lag on the old one with all the buttons but this is spot on so Nice one. Cheers for that Insta360. And I'll see you in the next one. Probably be using this thing again. Ciao. Well, I won't now, will I?